Hey guys, it's Nathan here from XIV Creative and today we're going to be talking about this little guy, the Canon M50 and why we think it's still the best vlogging camera in 2019. So we recently bought the Canon M50, um, mainly to make vlogging more accessible to us, but also um, to use as a solid secondary camera for our wedding videography and our client shoots. Um, previously we were vlogging with a GoPro setup, um, which required a bunch of different accessories in order to get decent audio from the, uh, from the GoPro. And then, even then, we were still having to spend a lot of time in post um, color correcting and making it match up with the um, Canon 5D, which we're videoing on right now. Um, we've been using the M50 for a little while now, um, and so we thought we'd share with you our top five reasons as to why we think it's still the best vlogging camera for 2019. Now, reason number one is form factor. So. Having come from a GoPro vlogging setup, we wanted something that was still going to be pretty small and um, easy to travel with and we could just kind of have it sitting on the dash so that we could capture those genuine moments and, um, and, and vlog whenever we need to and not be too worried about having to lug around a two kilogram Canon 5D with a gorilla pod and you know, it's just gonna burn your arm out after a while. So yeah, our main priorities were a lightweight, easy vlogging setup um, that could easily, you know, get some decent audio. So this obviously comes with a microphone input on the left hand side of the camera here, which we're pretty easily able to plug in our Rode Micro into. And lying around we just had this small little tripod anyway that you can screw into the bottom here and then you've got a really compact, easy vlogging setup. So reason number two is a bit of an obvious one for vlogging, but having come from a GoPro setup, um, having a flip out screen now is awesome. And um, being able to see yourself, make sure you're in focus, make sure you're framing everything correctly. It's just made vlogging much more easy for us. Now reason number three is video quality. So as I mentioned before, we are gonna be using this for vlogging, but we're also gonna be using it as our secondary camera for um, video shoots. Um, so we wanted something that could hold its own against the Canon 5D that we use in most of our professional shoots. So I'll swap over to the M50 to show you some of the video quality that you can get out of this. So here we are recording on the Canon M50. We're currently in 1080p and we're using the dual pixel autofocus. Got the flippy screen out here so I can see my face is in, in focus and it will track me nicely. So this is the quality of the 1080p. Um, now the camera does have a 4K option, but it doesn't have the dual pixel autofocus and it does crop in even further. Um, but I'll, I'll swap over to that now and show you what that looks like anyway. So here we are with the exact same shot, just changed into 4K. So you can see the crop is pretty significant. Um, and I can't really tell from here, but the, the autofocus is based on contrast. So it, it, you might find that it hunts quite a bit to try and find focus on faces and anything for that matter. But the, if you do swap it over to manual focus, this camera does have manual focus peaking. So that could be an option if you, if you decide to use 4K and um, just to manually focus everything. So here we are vlogging with the Canon M50. I've got the flip screen out so I can check here that I'm in focus and the face detection is following me. I've got the Rode Video Micro in now for the audio. And um, I usually set my ISO to auto so that when I change lighting conditions like here, it will just automatically adjust for me um, and make sure that my shot stays reasonably exposed. Um, I don't need everything to look cinematic, I guess. Um, so I'm still using the 22 millimeter lens here um, and usually if I'm vlogging I'd probably switch over to my 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens. So I'll show you what that looks like now. 
All right, and here we are using the 15 to 45 millimeter lens. This is my usual vlogging setup, just because it gives just that little bit more of a wide angle view, and it just looks a bit better for vlogging. I'm not as in your face kind of thing, and I can still see on the screen here, I'm in focus, everything's fine, so works well. Reason number four is color science. So I mentioned this one a little bit earlier um, when we were vlogging with our GoPro setup. Not only was it a bit of a faff to get decent audio from it, but matching the matching the shots in post um, with our Canon 5D um, took a bit of time and um, a lot of practice to get right. Um, but with this, because it does have the exact same color science as um, the Canon 5D, it's going to save us a bunch of time in post in editing our work um, and help us kind of be more efficient with our time and, and help us get more videos out more quickly and create content faster because we're spending less time in editing to get content out. So reason number five is price. So this camera is priced really reasonably. Um, the fact that we can have a camera this small that can keep up with our Canon 5D provide us with high quality video footage, awesome autofocus, and allow us to capture um, client and wedding shoots at a more reasonable price um, as a solid secondary camera. That's exactly what we're after. Um, as well, the lenses for this camera, there are fewer of them, but they are most definitely cheaper than your, your standard Canon lenses. Now at the moment this camera retails in Australia for $900 with the 15-45mm to kit lens. Um, now we actually got ours from Gumtree, we found a deal where we could get this camera with the kit lens and the 22mm f2 lens for $850. So if you're looking for a bargain, look on eBay and Gumtree and I'm sure you'll be able to find yourself a deal for this camera which will save you hundreds. So that's been our top five reasons as to why we think the Canon M50 is still the best vlogging camera in 2019. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've had, hit the thumbs up button and remember to subscribe. We have videos coming out every Monday. So until next time, we'll see you later.